Blue catfish have bodies built for the deep channels and strong currents of large river systems. They are big and strong. A five-foot fish weighing around 135 pounds can have a girth of 48 inches. In the United States, the drainages of the Mississippi, Missouri, Ohio, Tennessee, and Arkansas rivers provide the central native habitat for these large freshwater fish. They move seasonally up and down the rivers, heading north in the spring and returning downstream for the winter. Females lay eggs during the spring in places with less turbulence. Males protect the eggs from intruders, then stay on to protect the fry after they hatch about one week later. The fry feed first on the tiny animals in zooplankton communities. Young catfish change their diets to larger prey as they grow. They graduate to eating immature insects, then young fish and crayfish, on up to clams, mussels, and other mature fish. Fully grown blue catfish have been known to stuff themselves with freshwater mussels, swallowing them shell and all. In November 1879, the Smithsonian acquired a 150-pound blue catfish. It was purchased at the St. Louis fish market. The fish was caught in the Mississippi River and shipped to Washington by Dr. J. G. W. Steedman. In a letter to Spencer F. Baird of the Smithsonian, Dr. Steedman wrote, Your letter requesting shipment to you of a large Mississippi catfish was received this morning. Upon visiting our markets this afternoon, I luckily found two, one of 144 pounds, the other 150 pounds. The latter I ship to you by express. If you're wondering, the blue catfish skeleton on display in the bone hall is from the very same fish shipped here in 1879. 